Stephen, the skipper, you must be over the moon with that finish for the season. Aye, yeah, I'm over the moon. Great, great graft off there. Uh, I think we deserve more. I would have took that before the game, mate. Well, I'm not for more sake, just for our sake. I've been a happy end of the last few games, really. What was the lad's reaction like when Scotty's goal went in? Great, because you can see the team spirit's being there. It has. But like sometimes he didn't want to work for each other. And I thought a day when Scotty scored the whole player from the back four ran to where he was and it was, it was good to see sort of it was it, from the stands it was a major difference from uh, the form that you've been on mm. to tonight. Mm -hmm. So where do you think you know, if you look at the top teams when we've played them, we've played Moss twice, drew them twice, should have beaten them at home, beaten the god I was going on goal. Um, these are we are at Box of Hours in Jadwood. These are these people constantly away from home, but you know that against the top teams we've done alright. We've never really put them. I think it was West Auckland who gave a hammer in. Um, there's not many of the top teams really come and really turned over. I think it's been the teams in and around where that's caused the problems. Yeah, so and they were they were expecting yeah to come and uh, used yeah. to just lie down. So what uh, were you, what were you thinking before the game? Um, Considering they were saying it was an easy, it was going to be an easy win. You could tell the first ten minutes they thought it was easy, and then they got a bit of a shock when we were wrapping around them and two and three. I mean the first, I think it was the first half when there was about three or four blocks off a corner. Heads in the well, line before you could tell them that they were thinking it's going to be harder than what it was, and then they just I don't know whether they ran out of steam or whether they thought they could just pump the ball and pump them and get something off it, you know. Um, but uh, I think the members come here, I thought I'd look at the results, which anyone looking would think pretty hard, you know. But so what, was, um, what was the lad, lad's reaction like when uh, when they did score um, with about 25 minutes to go across the back four? I think you look, I mean. Um, it was a free header, which is disappointing as a defender for someone to, to, to have a free header. But I think then you saw you saw a bit of a reaction from everyone. They like, come on, you know, they've got a lot more to do, which they did. So that's one of the goal. Break we're down again, which they couldn't. Um, and I think we just sort of thought, right, like we sat a little bit deeper, which was a bit more worrying because I think that we were piling on, but there weren't any danger. I don't think we've conceded another one. Yes, that must have felt like a win. So what was it like in the dressing room afterwards? What was what was the reaction like? Good, good, good. I think a lot of. Um, very happy, was happy, you know, the music on and everything, but I think maybe it's also a relief for the people to think, right, we've getting them eleven last 11 games which have been poor in and out of form, and I think people are in charge of the batteries now, and go, go again, I mean, I think Gary's come in when it's been in a bit of a transition team, and people have left, people have come in, and I think you'll have a, have a good pre-season to get out and see we're doing, doing something next year, you know. Yeah, I was just about to ask, um, it is a good way to finish the season, Aye. restricting them, Aye. Um, so where can you see the side going next year? Um, I think we need to add things, which the teams will, there'll probably be a few leave, um, or a couple, I hope we don't, I hope it's together, but I just think you look on how hard we work there, and in every game, if you put that sort of effort in it, you'll get, you'll get by most games in this league, um, apart from you know, generally your top ones, but we've got a bit of class, but I think if we just work like we did tonight, we're not going to go far, you know, we've got to be aiming for, you know, higher than we have been this year, at least, you know, it's going to be looking at mid-table next year. So it was a disappointing where you finished this year? I, I mean, to be fair, for me, it's been my first season in the first division as well. So I've come up, left West Lockman, come here. Um, it's been new for me, and I, and I would like to push on it as a team. I would probably really like So, this. where can you see yourself next season? Where can we see us as a team? Where can you see yourself? I would love to be here. I would love to. I'd love to be here. Um, which I've already told Gary in, 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 in Fez that, you know. Um, but, like I say, there's things that we're going to match. My sort of ambition is well, I want to be. In it. I don't want to be scrapped in the last ten games. Like we have to sort of look behind. We're thinking, really hell if we lose that game, you know, someone's like, we need to be competing with at least the mid table. I would say, you know, this club deserves it. The amount of work, the road, and things put in. So hopefully we will. All right, cheers, Stephen. Thank you very much.